Given the, the pandemic, a lot of consumer behavior shifted online and we're seeing that here in China as well. Some of the things Alibaba doing differently this year for Singles Day, they've started some of the sales earlier. There's a big focus on imported foreign brands as well and uh, a lot of live stream shopping, which has become a big trend here in China as well. But I want to focus on something specifically uh, around uh, what Singles Day is about. Yes, it's about driving sales for Alibaba, but it's also about acquiring new customers. And the company has been focusing a lot on smaller cities here in China, the likes of tier three and four cities as those bigger cities in China become a bit more saturated with online shopping. And that's becoming more and more important given the stiff competition in the market here in China when it comes to e-commerce with some of the rivals like JD and Pinduoduo as well. So Singles Day is also about expanding that customer base as well. The, the difference is though in some of these smaller cities, the spending power isn't as strong at this point, but it is part of that broader consumption upgrade story we've been talking about a lot here in China. Now I had the chance to catch up with Alvin Liu. He's the president of Tmall's import and export business. I asked him what Alibaba's strategy is behind getting some of these customers in some of these smaller cities. Let's listen in to what he had to say. We see the beauty product, we see the personal care product, we see the supplement pr pr product it are also very popular in lower tier cities. And uh, the, the good thing is we already built up a very good logistic infrastructure so they can also get the delivery very fast. The thing is, how can we take advantage of the global supply to meet this demand? I think the demand is huge, and it will grow faster and faster. We need to find the, uh, the much better solution to meet that demand. So what's the strategy then for lower tier cities? How are you going to, yeah. to address that? Yeah, I think we will uh, go deeply into the data. We need to know wh which product, which category they like or they dislike and we can take advantage of the cross-border infrastructure, logistics and payment to find those brands, to serve those brands, to encourage them to come to China. Therefore, we can make those customers happy. And at the same time, some of your competitors, the likes of JD or Pinduoduo, have also said that lower tier cities are going to be important for their growth plans as well. How do you plan to address that competition? I think that so far the Timo Global is the largest uh, cross-border platform in China and we also have the number two, that's Koala. So I think that the, if we want to develop the cross-border business in, into a much bigger scale, we have much more responsibility. I think we would like to build the much bigger kick for the whole industry. So I think the competition is not our concern. So Alibaba putting a lot of focus on some of these smaller cities in China. Yes, spending power, as I mentioned, is perhaps lower now than some of the bigger cities, but that is expected to rise as part of this consumption upgrade story. And clearly all the e-commerce players, including Alibaba here in China, are jostling for a leadership position in some of these smaller Chinese cities.